Welcome to D&D Tube's Quick Guide to Plastic. Let's get started. There are two types of plastic, thermo and thermoset. Most plastics are made from refined oil. Once made into a finished product, thermoset plastics cannot be reheated or reformed. They are used to make fiberglass boats, which have a mix of polyester resin and glass fibers, and as a surface finish for kitchen worktops, using a type of plastic called melamine formaldehyde. Thermoset plastics are generally better at resisting higher temperature. Plastics that can be reformed and reheated are called thermoplastics. Acrylic, polystyrene, and many others are very versatile and are used in a variety of different environments. Expanded polystyrene, for example, is used for packaging delicate products, while PET is used for plastic drinks bottles. Additionally, there are also biodegradable plastics, ones that break down, which can be either thermoset or thermoplastics. These include water-soluble plastics which dissolve, such as those used in laundry liquid pods and medicinal capsules. Biodegradable plastics are often used for environmentally conscious products, like disposable plates and cutlery. Finally, there are plastics called elastomers, which are once again either thermoset or thermoplastics. Elastomers are elastic and stretchy. They are used for the soft grips on tool or bike handles, or as seals in plumbing. Most plastics are made into stock forms, such as granules, sheet, rod, powder, and foams. Now, let's move on to the manufacturing processes that are available for working in plastic. When we manufacture with plastics, we typically use sheets or granules. For sheet materials, there are a range of industrial and workshop manufacturing techniques, such as line bending, which is used with materials such as acrylic, blow molding, the process used to make plastic bottles, and vacuum forming, which can be used to manufacture packaging or products. Granules are heated into a liquid. This liquid can be used to extrude tubes and rods or to inject into molds. This technique is used in a variety of products, including some types of plastic chairs. Symbols, like the ones in the picture, appear on almost all manufactured plastics. Each one is part of a coding system to help companies quickly identify the different types. This is very useful when it comes to recycling materials at the end of their life. A lot of plastic products are designed cleverly to allow them to slot together using locking mechanisms or overlapping parts. However, sometimes they are needed to be joined together more permanently. These processes include the use of rivets, nuts and bolts, and a variety of different adhesives like solvent cement or contact adhesives. And finally, the methods for finishing plastics. Most plastic products produced commercially are self-finishing. This means that the mold or process used to manufacture them creates the final surface finish. Plastics may also be finished using polishes in certain circumstances. Thank you for watching. Now go to D&T Tube and select Playlists to find out more.